Carla, the makeup. Wow. You did know, you, I you had to come your own beat? Y'all, you know. <laughs> you did this yourself? Of course I did. So, wow. River, 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 you should know it. that Carla comes from the theater world. Uh, oh, right. That, so, adding yeah, to the... Darling, uh, I'm a theater doll. Uh, adding yeah. to the, <laughs> the drama, all of it. <laughs> all of it, yes. <laughs> just okay. let the two of y'all chat. Right. <laughs> <laughs> y'all are hilarious. Julie, honey, you have done it again. You know how much I adore you. You have done it again. So let me just give everybody their props. I gave Julie hers. River, I just want to applaud you on being part of the Ryan Murphy Initiative and the Berlini, I think that's how you pronounce it, Talent Fellow, and the Sundance Trans Possibilities Institute Intensive. Thank you. Thorn, yes. I want to applaud you for your work with Interact. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> and your, and, and your, um, your, your new project, Letters to an Unborn Son. I want to talk to you about that. Okay. And Alicia, last but not least, girl, let me tell you something. Um, I really love the fact that you were on that bathroom bill tip because not too long ago, there was a time when um, Black people weren't allowed to go to bathrooms. So I get it. Our state legislature legislator in Texas, Sanfronia Thompson, who we call lovingly call Miss T. She's one of just a tiny handful of black women legislators in Texas. She said it's never been about bathrooms. It's always been about discrimination. So I met Alicia and Saifa through the web of uh, the intersex of mafia on on Instagram um, a few years ago when I came out as intersex in 2017 and um, we kept in touch. We saw each other sporadically throughout that time because we all live in different parts of the country. Um, in the summer of 2021, um, Saif and Alicia were organizing um, a protest at Wild Cornell against the Dr. Dix Papas and they asked me to come and you know, I had never been to an intersex protest before. I think it was the summer after um, the George Floyd protests and the BLM protests. And I was just on one. And like I they asked me to speak and I took that megaphone and I was like, I, I, I had a lot to say. I kind of popped off. And um, and and Julie took note of that. And Saif and Alicia had already been the two subjects of the film and they were looking for the third. And um at first I wrestled with the decision to be part of it just because I kind of I, I wasn't sure about how much of my personal life I wanted to um divulge into a documentary just because I'm I'm an actor and I wanted to maintain an air of mystery about myself. But I knew as an activist, um whenever there's an opportunity to 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 do something for the community. Um, I, I, I'm just called to do it. It's 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 an act of service for me, the way I see it, and it's and and sharing my story is is a way that I can offer the world um, my perspective in the intersex rights movement. And so I just um, I had to be a part of it, and I'm so grateful I did because it was just truly a wonderful experience. I overstand, <laughs> Alicia. <laughs> Yeah, so I I was the first one to connect with Julie about this project. Um, she had found out about our movement through her prior work on the RBG documentary and having consulted with um, our intersex friend, Shauna, who co-authored the, the book RBG. Um, and I come from a political background. Um, as you mentioned, the bathroom bill, before that, I um, started my political work with a woman named Wendy Davis, who became famous as a state senator in the state of Texas, where she filibustered for 15 plus hours on the floor of the Texas Senate to kill a piece of legislation that would have outlawed access to abortion um, many years before it was finally stripped of us this past year. And um, through working with Wendy, um, I was given a platform in the feminist movement long before I even knew the word intersex um, or or found that piece of my story. Um, but the way that I found my way out of the closet was through reading another intersex person's story, um, a model named Hannah, who is now a, a friend of ours as well. And um, 
when Hannah shared their story, it really compelled me to share mine. And um, I think Julie has done incredible work showcasing stories of gender equity, stories of political activism from RBG to um, her more recent profile of former Congresswoman Gabby Giffords. And so she, you know, she's a credible voice in this space. And also we really trust her. Um, I almost worked on another film with a very prominent journalist uh, who has her own film production company, but the whole thing felt exploitative and I ended up backing out of the project. And as intersex people, we are forced to exploit ourselves on the daily, um, sharing pieces about our personal lives that most people never have to, nor should have to. Um, and so being able to work with someone like Julie that not only has um, credibility that she could lend to our work, but also real kindness and compassion in a way that we trusted her. And yes, she's our director, but I think now lovingly is also our auntie Julie. Um, yeah. It was really a, a pleasure to get to work with her and to get to continue to work with her on this. And Saifa, would you mind telling me how you came to the project? Yeah, so um, Julie had tagged um, Alicia, and then Alicia was like, you know, here's some people you speak to. One of them is uh, Sean Cypher Wall. Um, so Julie hit me up, um, and I think we were both kind of feeling each other out, you know. Um, and I, I, it just came to me that you had um, sent me a link to My Name is Pauli Murray, um, and I watched that, and I was like, I'm here for it. Um, and so, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I've done my fair share of media stuff and I've said this in other interviews. I think media can feel gross, um, and exploitative. Um, and I feel like, um, that Julie came with, um, a certain degree of integrity, um, and kindness, but also just a real person. There wasn't a lot of airs about her, um, that, for me and my values, there there was something there that I can really trust. Um, so that's why I think it worked out for me to be a part of this project. I think we can all agree that that Julie is a bad mama jamma. We can all agree on that. I'm the only one here that's old enough to be able to sing that whole song to you, which I could right now. I think Carl Carlson is the name of the artist, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that. Just as bad as I can be, but I'm not gonna do it. I love that you I love that you remember who the artist is. That is hilarious. In a little bit of time that I have left, I'm pretty sure I know why you did this. But why did you name the film Everybody? I'm pretty sure it's because of everybody. This story is about something very specific. It's about the struggle for intersex rights that, frankly, a lot of our audience is going to be a little bit or very ignorant about. So we wanted a title that felt really inclusive, which we think the film is, and that felt kind of positive and sent uh i mean you see the yellow behind me like felt like a little bit of there's going to be some sunshine here like yes these are stories that involve some pain and trauma but there's also some love and some sunshine um i've been doing journalism and films for many many years i've done all kinds of stuff i started out in the true crime space i now one of the things that i'm always looking for honestly is to tell stories that are loving um and i felt a lot of uh I felt a lot of love in this movement and hope that we've been able to create a film that has a loving feeling to it and that can bring out some love from audiences as well. One thing I'll add, and I was not the one to title this movie, but what we're fighting for affects everybody. Body autonomy affects everyone, whether it's the reversal of Roe versus Wade, the attacking of the health care for trans children. Uh, whether it be the maternal mortality rate for black women in Texas and the South more broadly, the fight for body autonomy is all the same. So even if you've never heard of intersex, I think watching the movie, um, you'll start to understand that we're all involved in the same struggle. Listen, I think we are all on the same page. We saw progress happen last night at the Tonys with two non-binary people winning Tony Awards in the best oh, actor wow. categories. So I think we're all on the right track. Thank you so, so very much, each and every last one of you for your time today. I really appreciate it. And Julie, I'll see you sooner than later. Yes, I'm going to be on my scene. So we'll, we'll, maybe we'll try to get together in a couple of weeks. I'm coming out there for a thing. So maybe we can 
have a rendezvous as we do. So I would love that. Oh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. 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 Thank you, Carla. Bye.